Hude. In this video, and maybe the next three or four videos, I will be talking about Raspi, an open source toolbox which allows you to create your own locally running voice assistant. And I will create a YouTube playlist and add these videos to that list. And the name of this playlist will be Raspi from A to M. And what this means and what happened to N to Z, all of that after the short introduction. Gude. Hacky tacky nerd stuff. Open voice enthusiast. Open voice, open future. Why A to M? M because it's a tribute to Michael Mike Hansen, also known as Synestium. Synestium. Mike. He's the creator of Raspi. So thank you a lot, Mike, for your great work on Raspi. What is Raspi? When you take a look to its documentation, you find lots of passwords from voice assistants, from speech recognition, text-to-speech, intent handling, wake word detection. All of these words are familiar when you work with voice assistants. So is Raspi a voice assistant? From what I've read, no. It's more like a toolbox which enables you to create your personal voice assistant specially for your needs. But if it sounds like being a voice assistant without being an actual voice assistant, what's then the difference between a voice assistant and Raspi? Let's take Amazon's Alexa as a reference for smart speaker voice assistants. It is used by millions of people with hundreds or even thousands of individual use cases. People use their Alexa smart speaker to set a timer, to add stuff on to-do lists, to dictate an email, to play music, play news, tell jokes, help on mathematics. Uh, let me spell some words all of this type and control the smart home and move uh, and, and, and think what more and this and that and, and lots of crazy stuff. And many, many use cases more. And serving this huge variety of use cases requires a high compute load. And this might be a limiting factor when you would like to operate your voice assistant locally at home. So this is where Raspi comes in. Raspi, as far as I understand it, please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, is not meant to support thousands of skills for hundreds and thousands of use cases. It is a toolbox that helps you to create your personal voice assistant serving in that special domain to improve the quality of your personal life. Talking or talking to a voice assistant about the meaning of life does not help me in everyday life at all. But asking my voice assistant to turn on the TV, this helps me in special, in that special use case, because I have not to leave the couch or start any smartphone app to control my television. So this is one benefit of Raspi. Let's take a look to its architecture. Raspi contains of multiple services such as STT, speech to text, TTS, text to speech, intent handling, wake word detection. And each of these services can be handled by multiple software products. So you are not limited to just one STT engine or one TTS engine. You can choose between multiple software solutions for each of these services. And Raspi offers a nice and clean web user front end. Raspi runs on small compute devices like Raspberry Pi, version 3 is recommended, or on any Linux computer, or as a Docker container instance on every operating system that supports Docker containers. And by the way, Raspi integrates perfectly and smooth into Home Assistant, so you can locally control your smart home in the combination of Raspi and Home Assistant. And Raspi has a satellite support. You can operate one instance of Raspi doing the compute magic and the workload centralized and have multiple small compute devices. This can even be a Raspberry Pi Zero, just acting as microphone and speaker in multiple rooms. And all of these satellite installations communicate with that central Raspi instance, which can be a Raspberry Pi 3 or higher or an Intel NUC system. So you can operate a multiple room setup with Raspi. The next video in this small Raspi from A to M series will be about the various installation methods.
That's it. I hope you like the idea of that recipe from A to M series. If it is so, please give this video a like, let me know in the comments and if you haven't already, please consider unsubscribing to my channel as this would really help me and the channel a lot. So that's it for now. I wish you all a nice rest of the day and if you like, we might see us next time. Bye!